And in my video, Living with Imposter Syndrome, a viewer asked me if I could create an up-to-date video on slow learning and slow processing of info. I said, yeah, sure, of course, why not? That's a great idea. But before I get to the question, can you be gifted with slow processing speed? Let's refresh our memories by finding out what processing speed is. What's processing speed? Processing speed refers to how quickly we can process information, so the speed at which we can react to incoming information, understand it, think about it, formulate a response, and execute that response. Processing speed is not the same as physical quickness. It is possible to have very quick physical reactions and yet process information slowly. So now when we know that processing speed refers to how quickly we process information and how quickly we do stuff, it got me thinking about my own processing speed. It's usually fast, but oftentimes it is not. I like to take my time. Let me give you four examples of when my processing speed is slow. First of all, when my husband and I are about to take Luna, our golden retriever, out for a walk, he always tells me to hurry up. He and Luna stand by the door and he says, we have to wait for grandma. He's right. It always takes me a lot of time to put on my shoes and coat. And if it's in the winter, I'm even slower because I also have to grab my beanie and gloves. Secondly, in college, I was always the last one to leave the classroom. My classmates grabbed their belongings and left the classroom in no time. But I just couldn't be so fast. I took my time. And sometimes lectures went too fast for me, so sometimes I didn't fully grasp something until I had read about the same topic in the textbook and gone over my notes from the lecture. Thirdly, throughout my school period, it always took me a long time to finish homework. And finally, let's fast forward to the present. Unless I script my videos, once the camera is turned on, I'm a slow speaker. In social situations, I don't speak slowly, but when you put me in front of a camera, I flounder for words and don't always know how I want to say what I want to say. I reckon the camera has that effect on me. So maybe the IQ test I took gave me the wrong results. Maybe I'm not smart or gifted after all. Does slow processing speed have anything to do with intelligence? Can you be gifted with slow processing speed? Let's find the answers to those questions and three more. 1. Does slow processing speed mean low IQ? As I said before, processing speed is how long it takes someone to get something done. Some people take longer to process information than others. Slow processing speed is not, and I repeat, is not related to intelligence. Let's take a moment to take that in because a lot of times when someone needs more time to process information, other people often assume that that person is dumb simply because the person didn't immediately understand something or do something. But it's not right. It ain't right to assume that that person is stupid simply because the person didn't process certain information as quickly as, let's say, their peers because Slow processing speed has nothing to do with someone's level of intelligence. 2. Can you be gifted with slow processing speed? Yes, you can. Since processing speed is not the same as intelligence, it is possible to be gifted yet process information slowly compared to peers. Many people with slow processing speed possess high intelligence and may have a high IQ. It just takes them longer to process information and articulate a response. It's not unusual for gifted students to have slow processing speed. Of itself, slow processing speed is not a formal learning disability, but having it can frustrate students, teachers, and parents. 3. Are slow learners intelligent? A slow learner needs more time, more repetition, and more resources from teachers to be successful. 
These students do not have intellectual disability, but it takes them longer to understand and grasp concepts. Many parents feel apprehensive about their child's pace of learning and put pressure on them, which I feel isn't the right approach. 4. What is giftedness with slow processing speed? Gifted children with slow processing speed can appear focused but not seem to get much done. Homework can drag on for hours. Grades might be lower than even the most reasonable expectations. Slow processing speed can even affect social relationships. And 5. Do kids grow out of slow processing speed? Most kids with slow processing speed don't seem to outgrow their symptoms, and this is particularly true for boys. As I said earlier in this video, I am gifted with slow processing speed. Are you the same? Are you also gifted with slow processing speed? If you are, let me know about it, preferably with some examples, in the comment section below. And to you, trans, was this what you had in mind for this video? I hope so. If it wasn't, let me know about it, you know where. But let me tell you, I ain't ready with this topic yet. In my next video in this series, I'm exploring the why. What causes slow processing speed? Where does slow processing speed come from? So to all y'all, be sure to return, be sure to return to my channel for that video. Aside from my own experiences, this information came from these websites. You'll find these links below this video. Let me just correct myself. My processing speed ain't always slow, but sometimes it is. If you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and watch this series from the start. In two weeks, I'll be back with a new video in this series on intellectual giftedness. Till then, I only want to say three things. Thanks y'all for watching, take care, and bye for now.